Hey guys, Gameboy3800 here once again, back playing some more Dirt Cheap Drag Racing, and I just came here to the shop to check and see if all the cars we put up for sale, and by put up for sale I mean legitimately bought and resold, are still here, and yes, they did save, because the mod saved separately from the game. So, all the cars we put up for sale are still good for selling. In the last episode, the game crashed after... Uh, an eventful episode, I'll just say that. Ooh, I wonder, can I hop into Deluxe Motorsports from here? No. Right. Hello, sir. How can I help you today? Says the Upside Down 9F at the front desk. Perfect. Perfect start to an episode. Okay. Uh, we need to try to find ourselves a better vehicle. I would love to get a 9F, but that one is currently upside down. <laughs> and the other ones are $120,000. So, looks like we need to head on back up to Michael's house here. And we will grab our Sultan, since that is the best car we have. And try to do some other competition someplace else. Oh, family! I'm home! There we go. That works. Don't mind me. I'm just trying to back out of here. So the Sultan is awesome. We know this. Where can we take it? Ooh, what's that? Is that another... That's another one of those Lancias. <laughs> I forget what the game calls it, but we saw one parked the other day, and that was the first time I'd seen one. And now they're everywhere. <laughs> Alright, so where can we go? Last time we tried up here, and we found out we are no match for them. But we did not have our awesome Sultan then, before it was just barely upgraded. So let's go ahead and try this spot again. See if we can do any better this time than we did a few episodes ago. Spawn this meet up. Oh, please don't crash, game. <laughs> I kind of need you to keep playing for me. Get the loading symbol in the bottom corner. And. Yeah. Not crashed. Alright, I'm gonna wait for this first race to get underway. I'm probably gonna wait a few races to. Uh, to enter so that the traffic can settle down. Because right now, all the AI traffic in the world is uh, trying to pass by. And we don't need that. So let's go ahead and just spectate this race here. Oh dear, what kind of view is this? <laughs> there we go. So we got a monster. A monster sultan. Alright, it got off the line very slowly, but then it really picked it up a notch, getting a 10-5. 13-6, not a bad time from the other one, I don't think. Let's go ahead and let one more race go. Before joining. Alright, Reaper versus Sundowner. Sundowner's a pretty okay drag car. Let's see what kind of time it pulls. Right then. And while they go, I'm gonna challenge you. And an AI SUV is behind the Sundowner, but thankfully it's behind and not going to ruin his line. Off he goes. Yeah, I think he should have wheelied, but wheelie cars have a bad time here. And that other car is getting a mega run. Look at that thing go. 
That got a 13.5 as well. I may be in trouble here. I have no idea how my car is going to handle. Oh well, I'm not going to find out by just standing around, so... Shut up, dogs, please. $3,700 race, so it's not a big money race, this. We are at 80000 just about. And I am in the optimal lane. Let's see how this goes. No wheelie for me, but I still do pull away, okay? Oh no, look at that car. He had to avoid the sundowner, but... Oh, I just have no pull on this track. Like, they start pulling really good. I'm at a 17-3. Alright then. I need a supercar to compete here, apparently. No little sports car. Even with the amount of upgrades I have on the Sultan here. Seems to be able to compete with these cars. Even the Sundowner was getting better times than that, I think. It's not like this car is incapable, too. We've seen how good this is. It does wheelies all over the airfields. So, yeah. Where can we try next? I don't want to try too many places because loading up the maps is what crashed the game before. Um... I know that spot. It's down this road and it's an okay track, but the AIs die all the time here. I guess we'll give it a shot. And best of all, I should be able to wheelie, but I don't think this is a really good place to do my wheelies because of how tight quarters it can be. Like you see signs, there's trees, it's not a big track. Alright, so, the race is already underway. Uh, let's not get challenged by the monster Regina there. Let's go ahead and challenge the Saber Turbo. Or no, Buccaneer, same thing. They pretty much are the same thing. It's funny, actually. The Stallion, Saber Turbo, Buccaneer. And the only real exception is the Dukes. Because it does have a higher top speed, so it can beat them. But like the Stallion, Buccaneer, Dukes, Vigero, whatever it's called, Tampa even sometimes. Now uh, yeah, they are all within like a fifth, not a fifth, a half second of each other, so. You can choose really any of them. I would say go for the cheapest of the bunch, because then you don't spend that much money. So here's a good money race, a $30,000 race. Can we get that any higher? 33. I need that Stinger to get out of the way. I must say that the Stinger GT does look really awesome. So instead of my, getting my tires up to red temperatures, we're going to keep them in yellow so that I don't have as long wheelies. The higher Sorry. temperature tires you have, the longer the wheelies you do. But in a smaller course like this, you may not want that. Oh dear. I was nowhere near that tree. I was like five feet away from that tree and it still counted as a hit. $33,000 gone. Why did I even fly out of my car then? Alright, fine. I'll put the seatbelt mod on. I don't usually do it. I don't usually fall out of, a, out of a crash that slow, but whatever. All 
Alright, we're doing horribly here. We need to get a bigger money race and win it. Wow. I was on the brakes that whole time. Those are some pretty poor brakes. And so I think what allowed the Buccaneer to win was it was also a wheelie car, but it did a smaller, more controlled wheelie. And I, even though I was pointed to the left, I got shoved into the right. Also, I think that pothole killed me. I'm going to see if I can pull to the left of it to get one tire off of it. I am not going to change the bet for this race, just in case, because it seems like he's going to get screwed out anyways. Oh dear, so am I. What's going on? No! What are you doing? You should get some help with that personality of yours. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> I was holding the e-brake in everything, but I just wheelied. That Monroe with a 13.5? Or 14, 13.4? Alright, we've lost all of our money. This is not a good track for this car. We need something more controlled. I'll give it one final shot at a different track because I don't believe this track will be any good to us because both times we've either been killed by the AI or had an unlucky wheelie. Excuse me. Well, wow, Michael, come on. Michael. Oh, come on, you hit that. Last attempt. All right, screw it. All right, so we need to find a super open area that accepts wheelies. Let's try our luck here. I don't think I've ever really gone there. It'll be interesting to see what happens out here. All right, don't crash, and awesome. Oh, I know this track. Yay, this is a place that accepts wheelie cars. And apparently floating banshees. What's going on here? Um, sir, you appear to have parked underneath a Banshee 900R. Right then. An Ardent has left the meeting. Why? I believe that's the Lancia lookalike. So let's get up to the line since we can't even aim to see anything down here. Oh man, we got the big truck here. <sighs> what are the police here for? that much fire 
Alright, thank you big truck for removing the mesh. I just wanted to race! Everything's going wrong! I'm also gonna get off. I'm gonna try to stay off the speed lines. The minivans exploded. How is there so much fire over there? Idiot cops, you ruin everything. Ooh, that's a nice looking Tempesta there. It's not my opponent. I do believe that that is my opponent. He's doing the famously stupid reverse donuts. Good wheelie launch. Going nice and fast. Yes, this is what the Sultan needed. It needed a good recovery like that. And now that we have driven far enough away, hopefully the kerfuffle that has happened up here has despawned. Yes, it has, although it did kill a few of our vehicles here. We're going to take the shortcut on down. And I reckon we can take out the big truck, although whether or not it will accept is another matter. Dragster Phantom has accepted. Awesome. That's got the custom tires and everything on it. Look at that. Is that wheelies? Oh my god. Tried to flip it. All I did was won't flip it. There's a lot of AI traffic here, but I can't turn it off because that would also turn off the race, really. Every car that arrives would despawn immediately. some pretty interesting cars to arrive here. $12,000 race. At a 27000 that's about half our money. We're not going to change that. I have no idea. I know I can beat the Phantom off the line, but I believe it'll have some top speed, so we got to have our tires really hot and hope we keep going straight and true. Now, where is the Phantom? There it is. Come on, you can do it. It sounds more electric than diesel. Alright, I don't know what the big truck's doing. He's apparently confused.
Oh my god. Oh my god, why? Just get into your starting block! Move forward three more inches! Yes, this race will finally get underway. Just don't bump into me and mess me up. I won! Oh man, that thing was really, really. What? It beat us? No! I hit the starting the. I hit the finish line into his way and let him win. After all that trouble, all that trouble. And we lost because I hit the... Oh, no. Don't drown yourself. Alright. So there is a way to recover a car if I drown it. I'm just going to teleport myself over here. If I did break it, I would need to teleport to a shop. Or not a shop to a garage and get in there and then reload the save and then it would be fixed all right we need to win against ai that's not completely stupid or overpowered because we did okay and then we did terribly we need to do better than that. We need to have a better track record. Only for $5,000. I guess we gotta get money back somehow. I'm really hoping all of my cars sell and then I'll be back to where I was before. we go no why did I steer that much why did I get turned that much no what is this bullshit what exactly is this <sighs> losing all of our races today for stupid reasons this car is uncontrollable Like this should be an easy place for it. Nice and long, very straight, very flat. 
all of those things are very good for having a nice, good, sustainable wheelie. And we're getting none of it. You know what, we are done here. We're just flat out done. We're going to the airport. At least the airport knows how to treat me. Got him. So, yep, I don't want to just keep spamming this meat and the desert airfield because I know they're easy, they're fun, but they do get boring. So that's 5,000 over dollars, but every time we win, we will get 30,000. Well worth it. And awesome, I am up for the first meet. Come on, who are we waiting on? Last time we were here, the AI just completely killed itself, so... I'm hoping that that's not the same thing happening again here. Who are we waiting on? Is that Sultan RS trying to get into my place? No, what's going on? Who are, who are we waiting on? Alright, we gotta go fix this. Who's doing a dumb? Right, I see somebody over there running in place. Look out! That was your car? Oh my god. So I will let the 811 slot into place first, I guess, just to avoid the stupid. Um, 811, that is my spot. I need you to move. despite being basically over the starting girl and moving around so much I didn't get penalized and finally the, sult the Sultan can shine I'm not having a good day all right so we got some money from selling cars very good
up to 172. That's very good. So yeah, we can apparently lose as much as we want as long as we sell cars. That's not the goal of this playthrough, though. But, I think I know a way to fix all of the bad wheelie launches and stuff. Making me lose a lot more money than I gain while racing with this car. I have a plan for it. Come on, let's get this race nice and easy. Don't get in the way, you stupid spectator. Good launch. Fifteen zero. Not the best time here. Or at least not the best time I've gotten. Two hundred thousand, doing pretty good here. And either way, we made some money, but we lost a heck of a lot more. So if you guys enjoyed the lose train, then please go ahead and leave a like, favorite, comment, share, and of course don't forget to subscribe as well. Thanks, Gambia. I will see you in the future.